This is Appetite for Life. Ah, New Orleans, the Big Easy. Why do I love New Orleans? Let me count the ways. The food, the food, the people, the music, and the food. And that's why today I'm heading to a New Orleans charity farmer's market to help cook up a Cajun classic for a crowd. But my first stop is Cochon Butcher. Why? My friend Don Link is going to hook me up with a couple of sausages so I can feed all those hungry people. Donald Link is one of New Orleans' top chefs, and Cochon Butcher is his tribute to old world meat markets. With an ever-evolving menu of house-cured salamis and sausages, this place truly is a shrine to meat. Let me show you a couple of things. Tell me what you think. Well, this is the, the real deal here. Yep. This is the... Perfect. On Dewey. Yep. Let's take a look at the middle here. Look at that. That's right, it's not ground. Big chunks of smoky, spicy pork goodness. This stuff's really nice, too. This is a new one. It's a beef and jalapenos smoked sausage. Oh, yeah. So maybe we'll take a couple of those. Yep. And then traditional. Perfect. All right. All righty. Perfect. Well, yeah, we'll wrap it, it up and I'll up. take it to go. You're the best. Thanks, my friend. All right, man. See you later, everyone. As they say at Cochon Butcher, in lard we trust. Next stop, Crescent City Market, where I'm going to meet my friend Poppy. We're going to have a little cook-off and raise some money for marketumbrella.org. Market Umbrella is an organization that helps make healthy, fresh farm fare accessible to those who are economically challenged. And no one is more excited about this program than local food expert, Poppy Tooker. Poppy, my darling. Well, hello, my dear. Now How the commerce you? can begin. How are you? Now that you are here, you have to are ring we, the yeah, bell. Yeah, let's ring the bell. Time to start this thing. You're just a good old ring. Ring that bell. <laughs> All righty, now. Is, awesome. is it usually this crowded? Oh, I think there are a few extra people showed up today for you. Mm -hmm. You ready for some Mechie Bay? I sure am. Let's All go right, let's go. Yeah. So the story with this market is this is the market for people who need a place to stop on a weekday afternoon. Right. And it gives them access to really great fresh That's food. That's fantastic. Straight from the farm. Which is, which is another reason why people who come into the city so many tourists come from all over the world to New Orleans. I'm always telling them, you learn more in a local market than you do in a museum. Absolutely. I'm going to grill up these delicious cochon sausages while Poppy helps us raise some money by whipping up a classic New Orleans dish, etouffee. There's a culinary verb, mm -hmm. etouffee, mm -hmm. to smother. To it, smother. What Americans call to smother. So it's all about putting a lid on it and uh -huh. letting it cook in its own uh -huh. juices. So what we're going to do is we're just going to start off with a little bit of butter. Next, for this super fast etouffee and very authentic, we're mm -hmm. adding tomato paste. Mm -hmm. You ready for the shrimp? Looks to me like we might oh even need Oh my gosh, that's gorgeous. But go ahead and oh, and it's going to be so delicious. It smells good, doesn't it? You've done this a couple of thousand times before, haven't well, you? Well, you know, this is one of the secret <laughs> recipes in my arsenal. But I get to have people like you cooking me dishes like this. That is so, that's insane. Hot sausage. Ooh, that's his big hot sausage. Why, thank you. <laughs> she flatters me. Soon as the Beautiful. shrimp curl, the etouffee is ready. Who's ready to eat some etouffee? Y'all ready to eat some etouffee? Yeah! The incredible turnout and support from the local community today just goes to show how much the people of New Orleans truly care about their city and their neighbors. How about that? Mwah. Oh, I knew you were going to be my new best friend before we were all done today. I had this feeling deep in my heart. Next stop, Gulf Coast, where I'm going to take a little race around the speedway and test out my shrimp boil skills against some real pros. So here's what I want you to do. The people at Appetite for Life are making a $10,000 donation to Feeding America. Please text FOOD to 50555 and reply YES to automatically donate $10 to Feeding America. Please help us to help people who are the victim of disasters by contributing to an organization that does more for disaster relief year after year after year than most people do. Seriously, help us help America. I should remember that number.